Stink back with us on First Things First. Let's talk about the fallout from the physical game between the Bengals and the Steelers. Juju Smith-Schuster and Georgie Loco were suspended one game each following their big hits on Monday night. Both players filed appeals. Smith-Schuster's suspension has already been upheld. The league is still reviewing the Aloka hit. Mark, what was your reaction to the suspensions that you saw in this game Monday night? Well, I, I mean, I go back, and you guys talked about it earlier. Those plays, although vicious, happen within the context of playing football. Mm -hmm. Where the Gronkowski hit had nothing to do with playing football. So I think that you have to look at, I think you have to look at, if you're the NFL, how we're suspending guys, what are, like, let your players know what the actual rules are. But I would go a step further. This is what irritates me about the National Football League, and I get heated about this. Where is the responsibility of the NFL and the teams? Because I've been in that meeting. I've been in that meeting where you bring back the film from Avantes Perfect and say, this is what this SO has done to us on multiple occasions, guys. All right, so within the seven seconds that the play goes on, You're if you get about, a chance to... I think it's talking about from a coach's standpoint, sure. what the coach is presenting to the team before you play the game. Right, I've been in like, that meeting. Like See, what Mike Tomlin is saying the Bengals in the scout right. report, getting ready to play the Bengals. So now, I wasn't there, so I don't know what they said, but here's Juju Smith-Schuster that hasn't been there. He's a rookie. Yeah, he has and he history. gets an opportunity to lay Vontez perfect out, and you know there's bad blood. And all I need, all I have to look at, all I have to look at is after the game, Antonio Brown shouting yeah. karma, yeah. karma, and karma. Who do you think Juju Schuster? I know, I know you follow Twitter. I uh -huh. know you follow the story. Who do you think he looks up more to on the roster on the Pittsburgh Steelers? Who do you think is his role model sure. and the guy that's taking him under his wing? Antonio Brown, the guy Antonio who got laid out in the playoff game. Right. Now, he was in college, but he's plenty aware of the information. Here, here's what, this is what drives me bananas. You guys find our players, constantly go after our players, and you don't ever go after the, 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 the owners, and you don't ever go after the teams. Who set the culture? Like, that's a culture thing right there. And I'm guilty. Should I play in an era with you that if I got a chance to try to break your jaw on a peelback block, I'm taking it. Now, it wasn't illegal back then, but I knew when we threw a pick – I better put my head on a swivel because a guy I've been holding for the whole game is going to try to break my jaw. He's going to try to knock my teeth out. Well, and I, I just, get that. I want the audience to know when, like, when Sting says break your jaw, the reason that block is illegal is because in a steelers bengals game almost a decade ago, Hines Ward broke Derrick Rivers' jaw on a block just like that. Like, that is literally what happened, and that's why they changed the rules. So when Sting says mm -hmm. that's what guys were trying to do, right. that is, but, like, I mean, that, what, that was part and parcel of go, the game. Go back a few weeks ago in that Seattle Seahawks Rivers, game. Not Derek yeah, Keith Rivers. When, when, in that Seattle Seahawks game, when they send Russell Wilson off the field, and, and maybe I've missed it, but they send him off the field. He goes to the concussion evaluation tent. They pull the tent up, and he just walks out without ever getting evaluated and goes back on the field. Did the Seattle Seahawks get fined? Do, you, do I, I don't recall anybody saying, so we're talking about player safety being our number one priority. And, and that's okay. That's okay. But if a guy like George Iloka hits somebody in the head, now, albeit a vicious hit, and they're trying to eliminate that, but you're trying to make a football play and trying to separate the ball, and, and he's going to lose, what, a couple hundred thousand dollars because he's going to get suspended for a game, $500,000. But we, as an organization, who don't change the culture, we, hey, it's, it's, on, it's on you players, but we'll, I'm telling you, I've been in that meeting where we put the film of Dale Carter up and said, this guy's a cheap shot, and if you get an opportunity to take him out, let's take him out. I've been in that meeting. Let me ask you guys about this inconsistency, because A.J. Green and Jalen Ramsey, am I correct, they weren't suspended? Correct. So tell me how that's... No, they were ejected from the game. Correct, but they weren't, there was no suspension. Right. So tell me how that is different. I, I'm looking for a, mm. and I know that it's hard for us to answer that, some semblance of consistency with how you're doling out none. suspensions. Right, because right, you mentioned, none. hey, how could you give these guys suspensions if Gronkowski, Gronkowski was this premeditated... Well, so it tip, the way they responded to A.J. Green and Jalen Ramsey is the way the league had almost always responded to these yes. things. Yes. 
you get thrown out of the game. You don't yeah. get suspended the next week. Correct. The, the precedent breaker was Crabtree to leave. And it was for a lot of reasons, because of their history, yes. because of how violent it was, because of how elongated right. it was. So this happened that's now, why they, these guys would be That's suspended. why they came down hard on them. But in the appeal, it was reduced from two games to one game. So now we get back into some physical contact. So now fighting on the field and game action, we're trying to equate them to being the same. That's what, what hurt them was the appeal last week. Yep. Because in the fighting instance, these suspensions, even Juju Schuster, I thought he got a bad deal because he was involved in the game. But the Gronk suspension, them, they would look more penal compared to the fight if they had two games. Right. But now we're trying to look at everything as if everyone's speeding. You know, everyone's going over the speed limit. Everyone's getting, well, actually, one guy was going 120 in the school zone compared to someone going 75 on a highway. That, that's the, listen, I thought the Gronk play was the dirtiest play of this NFL season because it wasn't a play. Sure. It was, it was an assault uh, on I, a guy I, laying prone on I the ground. I will give you that. And so, but the NFL is. And, and that's to, not culture. That's not culture. And no. that's not teaching. Right. That, that's uh, not talking. No. But you're just in such a rough spot because if you want to suspend Iloka and Juju for a game, the only way to make that look better is suspend Gronk for two. But two games is an eighth of your season. You know, oh, I mean, yes. like it is, it is so, because there's only 16 games What's to be played. Solution? Well, that that's where that's where they're in a really rough spot. And I don't, you, the NFL's never said like you're suspended a game and a half. They've never, oh, you're suspended a quarter. Yes. Like the, teams can do that. Like when Cam didn't. The wear players his suit. in the Bengals game should have been fine. They shouldn't have been suspended. And then we would have a difference in what's going on. If the players in the Bengals right. game, even George Allen, this is his third um, fine, he should have been fined for that. Juju, this is his first time. I mean, he's the youngest player in the NFL. He shouldn't get suspended. He should be getting fined. And then Gronk should have been suspended. It makes and Crabtree right. and them should have had two and, games. And, and the Bengals coaches and the owner should be being fined as well. They because should they, have should a be, equal, they should be on a so warning they can change before, the before the game starts. Right. So, like, hey, so we're not going to do this anymore. If we're going to change the culture, let's change the culture. And so if our players are getting our players are getting fined, guess what? Ownership, you're getting fined. Coaches, you're getting fined. Well, we didn't do it. I don't care if you didn't do it. But, like, Cece, you, you always it, it, say, like, the only way to really affect a player is taking, taking game time away from them, right? Because the money is... is right, but, and which is that. why I think Chris is saying Gronk should be suspended. Right, but yeah. Iloka and Juju, it, well, I don't think it was malicious intent. I think those were no, football but, plays that got a little above above. Or, right, unless they're repeat offenders. Mm -hmm. All right, then that's when you take them off the field as far as a, a unprotected um, wide receiver or a defenseless right. player. But it, right. hmm, they're in a tough spot. The league. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The league's in a tough. All right, spot. time now for some Hall of Fame hands. CC, this way. Take a look. Watch. Yeah, Here yeah. It comes. Get off these hands. I don't know what I'd do. This is Jace White of Kennesaw State with the hands on defense. Let's check it out. Oh. oh. They got beautiful uh, facilities at Kennesaw State. I've been there. My daughter was playing a big tournament there. A little nice grab there. Now, the only way this defender, now this is this is an accident right here. This is not Hall of Fame hands. This is just called being in the right spot at the right time. Because defenders, there's two reasons why they play defense. For one, you don't have to be as smart to play on defense. And, that's true. And typically, <laughs> they can't catch if they play on the defense I secondary. With, I agree with both of those statements. Yes, of course you would. Because <laughs> if you were to catch the ball, you'd be a wide receiver. There's more glamour and everything. You said you've been to Kennesaw State? Yes. Facilities aren't the only beautiful thing at Kennesaw State. Uh, what else? Outside Atlanta? What, what, what they got? I'm just landscaping they got something is else there. What tremendous. Else exactly. Like, I love. The landscaping program. Who's from yeah. Kennesaw State? I'm just making an observation okay, about no one problem. of America's great learned institutions. That's all. No, shout I'm out. Go ahead and say that's not what you're doing, Nick. <laughs> Mark, thank you so much as oh, always for pleasure. hanging out with us. You. Absolutely love having you. Back. you. Yes. Uh, coming up, does LeVar Ball actually have the answers for the Lakers' problems? Because he certainly thinks he does. I'm going to say no. First things first.